Hey guys, here with another Adiron Airsoft review. This is the video review of the S Thunder CO2 powered water mine. Now, um, before we get into the review, I just want to make a comment. Delta One from God's Airsofters and Deathcore Airsoft, uh, go subscribe to them. Uh, they both made comments in their recent videos about me doing a giveaway. And uh, I want to just comment on that and say yes, I am, um, but no further details will be giving, given until I hit 10,000 subscribers. So right now I'm at um, a little over 8,500. So um, we have 1,500 until we reach that milestone. And uh, I promise you guys it will be big and definitely worth your wait. So uh, tell your friends to subscribe and try to speed up the process of me getting to 10,000. Um, but yeah, just you know, get excited about that. And um, I will definitely announce this big time once I hit 10,000. So now to the review. Uh, this landmine is uh, made by S Thunder, uh, made pretty much of full plastic, but just a really thick, strong ABS plastic. I don't even know if it's ABS, but it's you can hear it's really, really strong. Uh, you can buy this at sthunder.com or evike or uh, on target airsoft or um, there's a list I will put the link down below to S Thunder's uh, worldwide retailers. Uh, but you can buy this for uh, about $35, um, so definitely a great price, uh, and definitely a, just a fun uh, airsoft prop to have, whether or not you have to uh, guard a, a narrow pathway or a doorway, and you just want to bury this. Now I will tell you, this is quite large, um, so I don't really know anything I can uh, compare it to. Here, let me pull out my phone. Here's my iPhone. And here's the, the uh, landmine. So it's definitely a pretty big uh, device. Um, but it, that means it can hold a lot of water. So this will definitely soak your opponent, opponent uh, whether or not that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, you know, they might get a little bit angry that you drench their clothes. So you might want to put a little bit less water into it. But uh, let me show you the operation and how it works. And uh, then I'll talk further on it later. But um, basically, this is the outside shell. Here are your four uh, little spray nozzles where the water will shoot out of. Here's your safety, this black chain with a little pin. It goes in uh, to the button. This is the button that the person would step on to release the uh, CO2 and water. Um, with the safety in, it doesn't move. Pull the safety out. The safety is chained on so it won't go anywhere. And then it, it works. And that'll um, release the CO2. So you can leave this in if you want. Um, definitely recommend leaving it in while you charge it. But just twist the top and uh, it'll come loose. Unscrew the top, just take it off. And as you can see, it has four little straws. Now these straws are where the water will uh, shoot up out of and go through the, um, the nozzles. Uh, when you buy this, it comes in a box with a small um, drawstring bag with a little carabiner on it to clip it to your vest or your belt or wherever just to carry it with you and it also comes with four extra little nozzles because sometimes they do shoot off while you're uh, when you release the water the water pressure is so high that it shoots off the nozzle sometimes and uh, if you lose it don't worry you have an extra uh, this is basically just a simple bowl um, here you have the CO2 um, container or canister there's a little spring in there um, to give this a little bit of extra bounce so it moves in there um, and then along in here there's another spring if I can get some light in there probably can't see it but there is also a uh, like a little nail inside the bottom of there so basically how this works is you fill it with water here's the uh, fill line don't fill it past this point or else it'll get in to uh, the little CO2 canister and won't fire right but um, fill it below this line uh, I actually recommend probably doing half that or three quarters that to uh, keep it more of a mist and less of a actual uh, geyser. Because uh, trust me, this thing shoots up a lot of water really quickly and uh, can anger your opponent if, if they get wet. I, definitely if I was walking around with my AEG, I would not want to get soaked with water. So just the light mist will definitely do the job. Plus it's somewhat loud, so they'll know. Uh, but how you uh, operate it is just fill it up with water, then you can 
put your CO2 cartridge right in there. Just drop it in there and put the top on and spin it. And I mean, that's that simple. Um, these do come in a powder version and there's other versions, a smaller powder version, a smaller water version. Um, so it also comes in black as well as this yellow color. And um, I mean, my battery is running low on my camera, so I will try to end this soon. But uh, thanks for watching. And this is a really simple device. I highly recommend you get one if you do large milsim operations. Maybe even get a couple since they're so cheap. Um, and you can just booby trap a, a pathway or anything. And your opponent won't see it coming. And all of a sudden there'll just be a, a loud pop and a sudden mist. And uh, they will be out. So definitely a fun airsoft device to have. Even if you don't do it in games, it's just fun to play with. And um, so thanks for watching. Uh, for those of you interested in the contest or the giveaway, um, stay tuned. When I hit 10,000, I will definitely put up a video telling you guys about it. And uh, I'll be giving away a couple hundred dollars worth of prizes. So I look forward to that. And uh, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.